Hey all, welcome to Astronomia Expounded. Hope you all are good. This is episode 3 of Space Telescopes, a series that brings you tweets and observations by space observatories in a single package. NASA Universe Light is so fast that, it could circle Earth, seven and a half times in one second. But the universe is so large that, it takes billions of years, for light to reach us from the farthest object we can see. A tweet from the 31st of January 2019. Scientists, using NASA's Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer payload, on the International Space Station, have mapped changes in the environment around a recently discovered black hole. Hi. My name is Erin Kara, and I'm an astrophysicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and the University of Maryland. I was part of a team who used X-rays to map the environment around a recently discovered black hole, learning new details about how those surroundings evolve as material swirls closer to the black hole. We made the breakthrough using observations from NASA's Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer, or NICER, on the International Space Station. NICER let us watch a flare of light from the area around a black hole called Maxi J1820 plus 070, or J1820 for short. This stellar mass black hole is around 10 times the sun's mass and funnels gas away from a neighboring star and into a dense ring of material called an accretion disk. Magnetic and gravitational forces compress and heat the gas to millions of degrees, hot enough to glow in X-rays. We think the flare of X-rays NICER spotted was due to an instability in the disk, which caused a flood of material to move toward the central black hole. Above the black hole is a region of subatomic particles called the corona. The corona is extremely hot, 1 billion degrees, and shines in even higher energy X-rays. Not a lot is known about why the corona is so hot. This outburst provides an opportunity for us to study how both the disk and the corona change as the black hole consumes this material. Waves of X-rays from the corona echo off the accretion disk like the sonar we use to explore the ocean floor. These echoes tell us about the size and shape of the disk and corona. Iron atoms in the disk absorb X-rays from the corona and then re-emit them. Gravitational distortion of space-time stretches the wavelengths of the X-rays, reducing their energy. The farther from the black hole they are, the less the light is affected. As we watched the system over weeks, the light echoes got closer together. This suggested that something in the system was becoming smaller. The low energy emission coming from iron atoms close to the black hole didn't change at all, suggesting that it was not the disk moving in, but rather the corona shrinking. The team and I estimated that the corona contracted from roughly 100 miles to only 10. The discovery reveals that stellar mass black holes behave similarly to their supermassive cousins, which are millions to billions of times the sun's mass. Those monster objects are found in the hearts of most galaxies, like our Milky Way, but their slower evolution over millions or billions of years is impossible to detect on human timescales. Stellar mass black holes, on the other hand, evolve much more quickly. Thanks to NICER, scientists like me are observing the evolution of black hole systems and learning more about how our universe works. Updating on that tweet, researchers are learning more about what happens when a black hole throws a tantrum. They are using data from our NICER telescope on the International Space Station to study Maxi J1820, a black hole first discovered during an outburst in 2018. J1820 is part of a binary system and consumes gas from its companion star. As material falls inward, it forms a hot disk. A surrounding corona of particles glows in high-energy X-rays. Jets, seen in radio light, can also blast away disk material.
scientists recently found links between J1820's disc, corona and jets. The corona slowly shrank at the beginning of the outburst, then rapidly expanded. Five days later, the radio flare appeared. That hot knot from the corona was being ejected through the jet. There are many mysteries about the evolution of corona and origin of particle jets in these systems. Studies like this with NICER and other telescopes will help us continue to understand how material behaves very close to these smaller black holes. On the 17th of August 2017, our telescopes teamed up with LIGO, Virgo and ESA Integral to detect light and gravitational wave signals from the same cosmic event for the first time. To know more, click the link in description. Thanks to data from NASA's now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope and ESA's Gaia mission, scientists can now paint a better picture of the spiral arms of our Milky Way. They used the data from these missions to find that a thin structure, including these nebulae, is poking out of the Sagittarius arm of our galaxy. It's rare to get up close images of our telescopes once they are in space. But since our nicer payload lives on the International Space Station, we see it all the time. In this sped-up video, nicer twists and turns, to track pulsars and other X-ray sources. Each tile in this mosaic is an image, captured by our Swift Satellite's Ultraviolet Optical Telescope. Zoom in to see them in detail, supernovae, galaxies, stars and more. This image was released to celebrate the millionth image taken by this mission. Visit the link below to find higher quality images. This is the colorized version of Swift Observatory's millionth image. The bright dot in center is an active galaxy in the constellation Serpents. It's been over 50 years since the radio discovery of the first pulsar was published. Now we have a slew of pulsars we see in gamma rays with our Fermi telescope. Learn more about these rapidly spinning, crushed cores of stars in the link below. Hubble, ESA. Our latest picture of the week, peaks in the heart of a cosmic furnace to find NGC 1385, a spiral galaxy 68 million light-years away from Earth. ESA Hubble Flashback this is the brightest globular cluster in the night sky after Omega Centauri, hosting tens of thousands of stars. 47 Tucani Watch here our latest episode of Space Sparks and learn about the concept of gravitational lensing. Space Sparks is a series released by ESA Hubble on YouTube sharing Hubble's observations and discoveries with wonderful illustrations. This pair of Hubble images of Comet C 2019Y4, Atlas, taken on 20th and 23rd of April 2020 reveal the breakup of the solid nucleus of the comet. This comet by itself is believed to be a broken piece of a 5,000-year-old visitor. Read more from the link below. Hubble Space Telescope Sit back in space out, as Hubble takes you into Nebula GUM-29 via this 3D visualization. The nebula is home to the star cluster Westerland 2, which lights up the nebula and sculpts its dust clouds with blistering radiation.
1, 2, 3, 4. Where's the fifth galaxy? Stefan's Quintet is five galaxies but two are already in the process of colliding at the center of this Hubble image. Take a closer look at the galaxy group discovered in 1877 by Edward Stefan. Stare closely into the eye. Hmm, we mean this planetary nebula. Hubble captured a dying star casting off its layers of gas and dust, in 1996, creating these dreamy, orange rings of gas. Hubble, NASA A cosmic collision the pair of interacting galaxies, in this Hubble classic view are 300 million light-years away, in the constellation Draco. This encounter pulled a long tail out of the galaxy on the right, which then wrapped behind its body. What was that? The trail, in this image taken by Hubble, on the 18th of August 2003, is actually an asteroid that drifted across the field of view. The repeating curve in the asteroid's trail, is due to the orbital motion of Hubble and the closeness of the asteroid, at about 169 million miles or 272 million kilometers from Earth, during the time of observation. The camera. The shot, from 130 million light years away. Happy World Photography Day from Hubble. Learn more about this dazzling spiral galaxy imaged here. Link in description. This grand beauty of spiral arms is NGC 3147 located in the constellation Draco. NASA Exoplanets When it launches later this year, James Webb Space Telescope will be the most complex and powerful space science observatory ever. We can't wait. Get ready with our new poster. For Roddenberry 100, we are sending a message to 40 Eridani, the real system behind Spock's fictional home, Vulcan. Sent via deep space network and traveling at light speed, it will take approximately 16.5 years to arrive. The three stars there, host two real planets. This is an image of 40 Eridani star system. On Roddenberry 100, we are thankful for Star Trek. It inspired so many of us. Check out 10 real exoplanets from the show, that NASA scientists would really like to visit. Chandra Observatory. Today, Chandra is viewing a cluster of stars in the Vela constellation. Nearby in the sky is planetary nebula NGC 3132, an expanding cloud of gas moving away from the dying star at its center at a speed of 9 miles per second, or 14.5 kilometers per second. This captivating nebula is not being produced by the bright white star near the object's center but rather by the faint neighboring star seen just above it. Supernova remnant N49 is located about 169,000 light-years from Earth. X-ray data reveal the presence of a bullet-shaped object being blown out of the debris field, at approximately 8 million kilometers per hour, or 5 million miles per hour, evidence the supernova explosion was highly asymmetric. Objects in space produce a vast range of light with wavelengths too short or too long for our eyes to see. 
Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible, UV, X-ray and gamma radiation are all different wavelengths of light. Check out this radio pic from the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. Can you guess the object in this image? Pause the video and comment below. This is the 21 cm wavelength radio image of the same object, Pinwheel Galaxy, also known as M33. This colorful image is a result of assigning various colors to the Doppler shifted wavelengths due to the rotation of the galaxy. The color blue represents shorter wavelength, and red represents longer wavelength. Webb Telescope, NASA Happy World Photography Day! Our team photographers help bring the Webb mission to life. In the image on the top right, NASA photographer Jolie Arashitea captured her fellow photographer Chris Gunn, who was in the process of taking the picture on the bottom right. One of James Webb Space Telescope's first tasks will be to stare at a large chunk of sky the size of three full moons, home to half a million galaxies. Building on Hubble Field, this ambitious program will help us learn more about the dawn of galaxy formation. Hubble's view shown in white is made of 575 individual images. The rugged patch by Hubble is due to it covering the area in small patches. The width of Hubble's single image is about one-tenth of the full moon, meaning, James Webb can cover almost 30 times more area in a single image. Webb Telescope, ESA The Ariane 5 upper stage for Webb is on its way to Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. Last night, it was transported from Ariane Group's Bremen site, to Neustadt Port Germany, where it will embark on its journey to Kourou, on the MN Toucan vessel. The Ariane 5 upper stage that will fly James Webb Space Telescope was loaded onto MN Toucan last night. Fun fact, at the back of the boat, one can see the two containers with half fairings made by Ruag Space. In reply to a tweet, asking about Ariane 5 customization for James Webb launch, ESA Webb shared the launch kit and an infographic. Link to both can be found in description. The Webb telescope is 8 meters tall and covers 21.2 cross 14.2 meters, equivalent to a tennis court when fully stretched open. When folded, it is 10 meters tall and 4.5 meters in width. The Ariane 5 fairing is 17 meters tall and 5.4 meters wide. Nancy Grace Roman, Space Telescope. It's World Photo Day. We cannot wait to see the spectacular images that Roman will capture. In the meantime, enjoy this simulated image. Roman will be able to image the main body of Andromeda in just a few pointings, surveying the galaxy nearly 1500 times faster than Hubble. The green outline is the Panchromatic Hubble Andromeda Treasury Survey, pictured by patching together multiple images. The red box represents the field of view of single image taken by Hubble. The white patches simulate the field of view of single image that can be taken by Roman Telescope. Space Telescope Science Institute Magnetic field lines from SOFIA telescope data, placed on Hubble and Spitzer image, make M82 appear to stretch on indefinitely into the universe. Finally, thanks to these magnificent engineering marvels we see beyond our reaches and behind in time. And thanks to you friends, for your patience. Check the video description for links.